In this question, we are to match various versions of exponentials and logarithms. So here's the classic logarithm shape, and here are the exponentials. So the blue and black graph, since they have the shape of an exponential, must match the y equals e to the x and 10 to the x, because those are the two exponential equations. So the question is, what happens when you go from, say, a base of e, which is smaller, 2.718, to a base of 10, which is bigger? So over here in red, the red graph is the graph of y equals b to the x, and I'm going to vary the value of b. So right now, if you just focus on the red graph, let me turn the blue one off. Here's the exponential, and as b gets bigger, look how the graph grows faster. So if you look over here, the black graph is growing faster than the blue. So the blue must be the smaller base, and the black must be the bigger base. So the blue matches the e to the x, which is the smaller base, 2.718. That would be uh, choice B. And 10 to the X has the bigger base, so it grows faster, which is the black graph, which happens to be choice D. Now let's explore logarithms. So turning off the exponential over here and turning on the logarithm graph right here, you'll notice, let me go back to a base of about two or so. What happens as the base gets bigger with logarithms is just the reverse of an exponential. So over here we have a natural log, which is a logarithm of base e, so it has the base of 2.7 roughly. And then if you look at the logarithm down here, it is the common log, it's base 10, so its base is bigger. So we're moving from the ln to the log, you're going from a smaller base of 2.7 to a larger base of 10. So what happens as you move from the ln to the log? Will it grow faster or slower? That's what this graph over here will show. As b gets bigger, as I change b from 2.5 to 20, watch the growth uh, rate of the blue graph, and you'll see the bigger the value of b, the slower it grows. So big value of b, smaller growth. So if you look over here, the big value of the base, which would be the base 10 down here, would be the slower growth, which is red. So base 10, I'm going to match with the red graph, which is C. And then the smaller the base here, uh, if the bigger the base, the smaller the growth, then the smaller the base, the larger the growth. So the smaller base has the larger growth, which is the green, and it is the smaller base. Remember, this is base 2.7, whereas this was base 10. So small base, larger growth, this has the smaller base, and the larger growth was green, and in this case, that was letter A.